Häufig kommt es beim Bergsteigen. Ankle injuries are a common occurrence when mountaineering or climbing. They frequently affect the ligaments or joint capsules. Sprains and twists can occur as a result of an impact or by slipping. These injuries can soon become painful and the accident victim can no longer put weight on that foot. The first symptom of an ankle injury is pain. The accident victim is barely able to walk, if at all. The affected area also becomes swollen, often accompanied shortly after by bruising. The RICE method is very useful for all soft tissue injuries, such as torn ligaments, pulled muscles, dead legs and muscular lesions. The RICE method is of enormous help whenever soft tissue is affected. The word RICE provides us with a handy mnemonic. R stands for rest, meaning the injured person should sit down, remain calm, and enable an overview of the situation. How bad is the swelling? How badly damaged is the ankle? I stands for ice. Of course, you don't normally bring ice on a mountaineering or climbing tour, but you'll always have a disposable glove. By slipping this on, digging down into the moist soil, then turning the glove inside out and tying a knot, you can make an ingenious improvised cool pack. As an alternative to soil for the cool pack, you could also use cold water from a drinking bottle. Then the injured person can place the pack over the most painful area. C for compression involves unwrapping a standard dressing or gauze bandage and tying the cool pack firmly to the ankle joint. Do not take off the person's shoe. Shoes actually create a compression. By removing a shoe, you enable the swollen area to expand massively. So please be sure to leave the shoe on and tie a dressing around the cool pack. Finally, the letter E. E stands for elevation. This means the foot should ideally be raised to the same height as the heart, for example, using a couple of backpacks. One exception to not removing the shoe is in the case of a climbing shoe. If the pain is so severe, it is better to remove the climbing shoe. The aims of the RICE method are therefore to alleviate swelling, internal bleeding, and pain. However, the chances are the tour is already over for the accident victim. Now all involved must decide how best to get off the mountain, assuming descent is possible. If in doubt, call the professional rescue services and stay together until they arrive.